Hi, in this session I'm going to cover how to convert time. So let's say for example you have a database and maybe you are looking at support cases and there's a start time of when the case started and the end time and you want to find the difference between those two. And before I kind of go into this I want to kind of give a background on how Excel views dates because that's what we're doing. We're trying to convert time from days maybe to hours or minutes here in our example. Well, the way that Excel sees dates and times is via uh, uh, a serial number. And so, for example, the way that Excel sees uh, January 1st, 1900, 12 a.m., which is the first date time that Excel uh, recognizes, it sees that as a number one. And to show you how that is possible, let's go ahead and go into the cell and right click and go to Format Cells. And if I go to General, you'll see that it sees that time as number one. Well, let's say that, uh, let's go, well, oops, <laughs> controls you that. Let's say this should be, if I change this to one, let's see, one, two, 1900 at 12 a.m. That should be the number two. So let's go and right click and go to general and it is number two. So that's how Excel sees. Whoops, that's how Excel sees uh, dates. Now, the way it sees time is in a decimal. So what happens is that uh, there's 24 hours a day, and depending on when the time is, let's say for example, 12 would be uh, basically at zero. If we went to 12 p.m., that's half the day of gone, so it'd be 0.5. So let's say for example, we had uh, one one and this was 12 p.m. The, uh, the serial number for this should actually be 1.5 so if I right click go to format cells general you'll see it's 1.5 so that's some background of, of how control Z here that's some background of how Excel sees uh, date time in the background so with that in mind let's go and see how we would convert uh, between dates, days and hours and minutes, etc. So let's say for example we wanted to find the delta or the difference between a start date and end date. And basically I would just go ahead and do a subtraction. The end date minus the start date. Control enter to stay within that cell. Let me just go ahead and copy this down. Double click to copy it down. You'll see that there's a difference in days. So this is 148.14523 315 days. That's because we're accounting for uh, 9.41.06 p.m. to 1.10.14 a.m. So that's giving us our decimal. Now let's say we want to convert that to hours. Well there is actually a, a an Excel function that can do the conversion for you. So instead of trying to do some multiplication and doing uh, there's 24 hours in a day so I can say oh okay this times 24 to give us our hours, there's actually a function that will do that for us. So just remember that. That's 35549. Let me just copy that and bring it down here. Oops. Let's copy just the value, not the whole formula. Oops. So let's go ahead and copy this formula. Control C to copy. Go down here and just to paste that value. Let me escape to get rid of the dancing ants here and delete that and the function to go ahead and convert days to hours is actually you just have to type the equal convert open parentheses and we're gonna select this cell so we're gonna we're going to convert from day so if you type it out or you can actually just scroll down here you'll see day right here and we have to put it within quotes we'll convert from that unit to hours so hours you can, the screen tip kinda shows up here you can either select it or you can type it. I'm just going to type it here and then close parentheses, enter. And we see it's the same thing here. So that actually converted us for, for us. So instead of trying to figure out and calculate it, multiply it out or divide it by out, we can just use the convert function to do that for us. So let me go ahead and select that and copy it down. So we can actually also do minutes. So I do equal convert and that number, hours, oops, day and then do that minute and a minute is just MN oops parenthesis uh, open quotes and then close quotes close parentheses and that's minutes and let me go and double click that down and then we can even do seconds so I'm going to convert that 
day, and then I'm just going to select it now, comma, and then second. Double click that, close parentheses, press enter, then go and double click that down, and we can even do years. So that's the other time format. So this should probably be from one January to June, that's about almost half a year, so we should probably see that value. So we're going to do D2 that number from day to year. I'm just going to go and double click it to select it, close parentheses, press control enter to stay in that cell and we see that there. And I'm just going to double click this to bring it down. So that's a couple ways that we can convert from different time settings, days to hours, minutes, so you can mix and match from maybe even from seconds to minutes or seconds to hours depending on the type of value or data that you have. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.